How's it going guys? In this tutorial I'm checking out Symphony which is a framework for PHP and I've never used this before. I've never made an application with it. Um, all I've done is just successfully installed it now so I'm just going to show you how I did that. And as most of you know I have a lot of experience using CodeIgniter before so basically we're just checking this out now and um, seeing how we go with it. So you can start off by going to symphony.com and you'll see this download now um, button right here so we'll just click on that to download it and it's going to take us to this page and basically here I just chose um, Symphony Center 2.1.7 zip um, I'm assuming this is their stable version and we're going to click download now um, while that's downloading um, just make sure you have your um, Apache server running and MySQL running in my case I'm using XAMPP so I've got Apache running here, MySQL running, and we're good to go there. And it looks like our um, download is about to finish right here. So once that's done, um, you will you'll open up your zip file, and your zip file will have the Symphony folder inside it. And you want to open that up, and what you want is these files inside here. Um, in my case, I don't need to unzip this because I've already um, stored them in another file or another folder right here which is uh, don't touch symphony um, this is just sort of a naming convention I do so when I download something like code igniter or symphony or HTML5 boilerplate um, I want to keep the original version intact so I just um, prepend it with don't touch so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to control A and control C all of those files and I'm going to make a new folder and this is going to call, be called symphony and inside symphony I'm going to paste in um, the files for Symphony. So um, in this folder, you know, we can mess around with it, we can break it, anything we want, uh, but we're not going to affect um, our original version that we downloaded, and that is in the um, Don't Touch folder that I created. So we'll just wait for this to finish now. Once your files have finished being pasted inside the folder, um, what I want you to do is open up this web folder right here. And inside the web folder, there is a config.php file. And what this is going to do is um, it's going to give you sort of like an installer page and make it easy for you to configure your um, Symfony application. And, but basically, all this config.php is doing is it's going to write to another file, which is in the app folder, and then under config, and then this uh, config.yml and parameters.yml and I believe it's going to write to parameters.yml and then um, and it also uses config.yml actually we can just open up um, parameters.yml right now with um, notepad++ and we'll see that um, they, we don't have a port configured here uh, the database name is set to symphony and there's no password and basically we are going to um, update the parameters right here um, I know this is going to be different because I'm not using a database called Symphony. I'm going to uh, change that to something else. So let's just um, close this for now. And let's go to um, our browser here. And let's refresh this one right here. Yeah, we have our Symphony folder here. And I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to go to web. This isn't going to work, but we need to add on config. PHP, and we're going to come to our Symphony welcome page, and uh, it's telling us here, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to um, well, we're going to write to app slash config slash parameters dot yml, and they say we could do the same thing directly, you know, just by editing this directly. Um, but in this case, we're going to go through their um, little installer screen. Um, there's a few recommendations here. You can install Symphony without doing the recommendations. But in my case, I'm going to do the first one, which is install and enable the INTL extension, uh, which they use for validators. And the way we can enable this is um, if you're using XAMPP or whatever you're using, um, you want to go to your php.ini PHP file. So um, we're going to click on config right here and then go to php.ini. And let's just make this bigger. And I'm going to go Control F and search for INTL. 
and you'll see that um, the INTL right here it has a semicolon at the front of it. That means you know we have this extension available in our PHP installation, um, but it's been disabled by this comment. So we're just going to remove that semicolon at the front, and we're going to save it, and we're going to close this stuff out. And then I'm going to restart Apache so that it takes effect. And you'll see that now if I go back to um, our um, config.php page and we refresh here, now we don't get that recommendation anymore. We just get this PHP accelerator one. Um, but I'm not going to do that one because um, it has to do with caching and um, we just don't need to bother with that right now. So we can go to the next step here, which is configure your um, Symphony application online. And I'm going to click on that. And the first page is to configure your database. So MySQL PDO, that's what we want. Um, this host is correct because we're working on localhost. And um, for my database, my user is root. I don't have a password. If your MySQL uses a password, enter that here. And the port for MySQL, I believe I can just leave this how it is, and it will guess the correct port. But I'm actually just going to try um, adding it in. Our MySQL runs on 3306 by default, so I'm just going to put that in here right now. 3306, and we can go to the next step. This is the global secret you'll put in, and um, this is used for CSRF protection. And I'm just going to go with their um, randomly generated one here and click next step. And then it says well done, and your, distribu your distribution has been configured. And um, basically, what is uh, what is done is it's overwritten the parameters.yml. And that's found under symphony slash app slash config slash parameters dot yml. And we'll see here um, we've got our port name in there now. And um, actually I wanted I forgot to put in my database name that I wanted to use. Um, the database that I wanted to use um, was world db and I got this from um, MySQL's website. Basically it's a sample database which has got you know a lot of cities and countries in it um, so I think what I can do is I can just go back here and I go back again and I'm going yeah this is the database name right here and I'm going to change this to world underscore db okay and let's go next again uh, next again and I believe that's writing over the file again and let's go next step here and we'll see now that um, our distribution is configured again. And here we have database name as world db. We have our port number there, and so forth. And now we can go to um, the welcome page. And just before I go to this welcome page, um, I want to actually check out that YML file. So um, yeah, in our config here now parameters.yml, and I'm going to edit this with Notepad plus plus. And you'll see we did write to this file. There's world db. Um, there's our port right there. So um, if you want to do it more directly, just um, edit this file directly. And this file is getting included by config.yml. So if we open this up, you'll see that um, there's some imports here parameters.yml and security.yml. So you can see all these you know, different variable names right here in the YML file and that is importing these from uh, parameters.yml um, which we just wrote to okay so um, yeah so the uh, default page is um, it's symphony slash web slash app underscore dev dot php and we can um, click on run the demo right here and they have three available demos here, and we're just going to check out the um, Hello World one right here. And you'll see here it says Hello World, and it shows you the um, code in the controller right there. And this world part right here, um, this will be the parameter that you're passing to the function. So I'm guessing here that um, demo is the controller, and then hello is the function name. 
and then world is a parameter that we can pass it. So if I change world here to Anthony, um, that's going to work. Hello, Anthony. Or we can change this to uh, anything we want. YouTube. Okay. Um, but so that means that's the parameter, and then this is going to be the method. So there's going to be a hello method here. And if I change this to something else like how are you, um, that's not going to work because it wasn't found. This uh, method uh, obviously hasn't been created there. Um, so that's just my best guesses so far for how this is working. And basically, we've installed uh, Symphony here. And thanks for watching.